More COVID-19 testing could soon be more available in Southeast Idaho. Southeast Idaho Public Health says it's working with community partners to improve testing as early as next week. Well, Local News 8's Brady Halbleib shows us how this could impact our current case count. 32% actually. Wow. Regional health officials are working with the state to expand testing in our region. The health district reports only 411 people have been tested in Southeast Idaho. That's out of the 16,000 people who've been tested across the state. And that's that's pretty low. That's only about 2.6% of the total tests that have been done in the state. There are currently only five confirmed cases in Bannock County. Southeastern Idaho Public Health District Manager Maggie Mann says the low case number is a direct result of lack of testing. However, more COVID-19 tests may be on the way. We are taking the testing availability issue very seriously and again working with community partners to try and improve access as quickly as possible. The agency is now working with community partners, private labs and Idaho State University to provide those tests, but restrictions on testing candidates will remain in place. Our, our highest priorities continue to be the sickest people, um, people who are hospitalized, people who are working in healthcare, or maybe our first responders or critical infrastructure workers. But anyone who is symptomatic, our hope is they will be able to be tested through a commercial laboratory. However, right now they suspect the low number of cases does not reflect how prevalent the virus could already be in our communities. We know that for every confirmed case, there are five to 10 undetected cases. And so we know there's more virus circulating in our communities than what our confirmed case count would indicate. Those testing sites are currently being designated and a list of locations is expected to be made available to the public within the next few days. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Brady Halbleib. We do want to remind you the number of confirmed cases from our local health districts doesn't always correspond with the state's website. As individual health districts confirm cases, it takes time for the state to officially confirm those cases at the state level.